Jasmine J and I am back with another video so I can't well, I'm gonna just tell y'all like my voice has changed so you already see the title um this is just gonna be me talking about my pregnancy and just how things have been going things that I don't like um that people do or say to me um and yeah and so this is just like a little catch-up video and i'm kind of going to be changing the direction of my youtube channel it will still be makeup included and stuff my makeup tutorials but since i am having a baby boy i will be you know doing more mom videos so um make sure y'all stay tuned and see y'all all right so I know it's been like a while y'all like it's been a while since I posted anything and the reason being like I'm currently eight months you know I'm almost nine months I have like five more weeks left and so you know I y'all I've been like hidden away tucked away and just kind of been staying to myself like I've been kind of this pregnancy like has not been easy like whatsoever like at all <laughs> not easy and yeah I'm like a first time mom this is my first time being pregnant and it's just it has not been easy um I just finished up my CNA certification, um, going to school for that. I still have to go take my state boards for it, but I did finish that. Um, so other than that, I just, I haven't really been doing much. I just been going to appointments and y'all, this is for a whole nother video, more in depth about my pregnancy and, um, just more of what I've been going through. But this video is just talking about, you know, some things and um, just changing the direction of my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Um, I should have wrote down some things, but I didn't. So, we just going to go off the top of my head. And hopefully, I don't leave anything out. So, yes. Y'all, I will definitely... I really want to be more consistent with YouTube and being out there and, you know, just doing, you know, mommy and me YouTube videos and just doing stuff. I'm definitely going to do a room tour of his, his and our room, um, because we will be sharing a room. Um, and yeah, and I'll also be doing a haul or, um, must haves for me and then you know just like going down that line of just putting out that kind of content you know and so um and definitely as being a single mom because I'm a single mom um well I'm walking into motherhood as a single mom right now so um yeah it's just gonna be the two of us y'all will see us and hopefully I could post a lot and just bring y'all into our life. <laughs> so, um, all right, y'all. So let's talk about some pregnancy pet peeves, at least for me. I don't know about y'all, but for me, these are my like pet peeves that people say to me or do whatever. It, it, it's a real big pet peeve so i would say the first pet peeve is um well i've shown big like throughout um my pregnancy 
and I insert some pictures up here and so y'all can see some pictures of me and I might even insert a video so y'all can just see but yeah so you have people saying oh um how how far along are you I tell you then it's like oh he's gonna be a big baby that's very offensive <laughs> especially when you're nowhere near especially when you're nowhere near your due date it's like very offensive because it's just like but he's like growing at a normal size um you know just some people show bigger than others some people are smaller than others like i feel like people just have this image of how pregnancy is supposed to look and that is the wrong image like you have different body types you have you know different people that you know just carry big or they carry small it's like no perfect size when you're pregnant like it's not and so for when a lot and i get this a lot like it's a uh, oh it irks me and and I get it. It's because people aren't educated. So, you know, I'm just like, um, yeah. No, he's, he's, you know, normal. He's a normal size baby right now. And so then it's just like, you know, and then it's not just the baby in there. You know, that that's the other thing. Like, it's other things that's in there. You have the placenta, you have fluid, you have a lot of stuff in there. Like, it's not just the baby in there. <laughs> like, that. that's, I think a lot of people don't get that. Like, and it's okay because people, they probably haven't had kids before, so then they don't know. And for the people that have had kids before, it's just like, what are the things that hurt you? You know? Like, I, I know some people, they, you know, feel insecure because they're not showing, you know, around the time they're supposed to be showing. Like, it, it wait, like they show later on in their pregnancy. And then you have people that show earlier in their pregnancy. And I was, that was me. So, it's just like, it all, it all depends on you, your genetics, and all of that. So, um... That's definitely like a big, big pet peeve of mine. And it's just kind of like, you're already sensitive. So it's like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Just keep it pushing. Like, don't even ask. That's just my opinion. So, um, or, oh my gosh, your face is so huge. Your face is swollen. Uh, yeah, like, that's what happens. Thank you. I, I see it every day like it like some people really don't be meaning no harm but at the same time it's kind of like your body is already changing and then you have somebody else kind of which you notice and then you have somebody else from the outside like ooh, did you notice this Ooh, like ooh, yeah i did <laughs> like it's just like little stuff like that like it's just like yeah i noticed it and it's like now you're trying to get used to your body changing but then you have other people commenting on your body and so it's just it i don't know people just really don't think and that's just what it is and i feel like instagram has made it so easy or made pregnancy look easy but you just see people dressing up and you know stepping out when, when I tell y'all it is not like that at all it's not so don't expect it you know you know you have your days when you do feel good you have your days when you do want to dress up but majority of the time you don't feel like doing nothing you feel like crap you feel you know I wasn't the type to throw up but you have people that throw up every day like I had nausea but I didn't throw up so you have all of these you know things you're always hungry you're cranky you're you know you get in moods it's just so many different things going on so many different changes like y'all 
it's not what Instagram makes it out to be. And let me tell you, Instagram is not realistic, okay? If you don't know that, you need to know. Instagram is not in real life. Instagram is Instagram. It is not, you know, real life. Like, it really isn't. So, you know, that's definitely one of my pet peeves. My other pet peeve is when people touch my stomach. I'm not comfortable with it. Some people are comfortable with it, but I'm not. It's it's weird for me. Like, I don't even like people to really touch me at all, period. So, it's just like, now you have a baby that's sticking out, and it's just like, oh, people just want to do like this, and I'm just like, mm -mm. And with family, I, I try to suck it up, but, you know, it's still weird. Like, I, I'm not used to it. It feels weird. Like... <laughs> and I get that you're trying to interact with the baby, but at the same time, it's still, it's kind of like an invasion of privacy. It really is. So if you, if you are that type of person, I would just say to ask first before you just go and touch somebody's stomach, um, because it could, it's just really invading somebody's space, honestly. So that was, that's definitely a pet peeve of mine as well. Um, also, when people say, like I said, y'all, I am showing big and I'll definitely, you know, show y'all my stomach and let y'all see. Um, but the other thing is, you know, I am closer. And so some people just like, is it one or two? It's one. Oh, well, you just look so big. Oh well, thank you. Like, what do what do you say behind that? Like, that is just so rude, so rude. <laughs> oh, you look so big. Like, oh, I'm pregnant. What's your excuse? <laughs> like, you don't want to be rude, but people are already being rude to you, so it's just kind of like, at this point, I don't really care because you didn't even care. When you came and approached me in that way. And so I'm just like, you don't do that. <laughs> so that's definitely like a big pet peeve of mine because it's just like, it, people don't understand. Like, it's just really offensive. Honestly, it really is. Um, and so another pet peeve of mine is when I'm buying stuff and people are just like, Oh, he's, he has too much stuff or he's going to have too much stuff. Okay, he's my baby. Like, let me spoil my baby. Like, let me do what I want to do with my baby. Like, <laughs> like I just want him to, you know, have all these things. And so, it's nothing wrong with whatever I see. And I'm just like, oh, I want this. I want him to have it. Like... Or it's probably a want for me. So it's just like, don't try to be so judgmental because it really just kind of like, I don't want to say it tears you down, but it's just like, oh, well, who baby is it? Like, you know, like, can I, can I do this? Like you had your chance or, you know, you'll have your, your time when you have yours and then you're gonna be saying the same thing like you want to do what you want to do and and so that's just another pet peeve of mine like it really irks me um let me see what else but really yeah it's just like oh you're you're gonna spoil him okay that's fine like let him be spoiled well, nothing is wrong with that. Like, oh, uh, another pet peeve would be assuming that I'm married. Oh, um, how how does your husband feel about this? Or, um, you know, just husband, 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 and I'm just like single, single, single. <laughs> I don't have a husband. I don't even have a boyfriend. So it's just kind of like. Don't just assume. Don't assume. Just like, oh, you're, you know, do you have a partner? Do you have a, you know, something? I don't know. 
either way, it's none of your business. Like, at that point, it really isn't. Like, some people, I don't know. Y'all just, some sometimes, don't be having no common sense. Or just, just don't care. But then, if somebody turn around and snap on you, then it's just like, well, oh, my bad. No, like, you're, you're trying to be in my business. You're, in a, you're invading my space. Like, no. So, yeah, that's the pet peeve. Oh, yeah. I think I am done with the pet peeve section. Um, I can't remember anything else right now. But I told y'all.